Ahoy, ahoy, ahoy everyone. everyone! Oh my goodness, look at this. We are well. Oh, look some, at that. What? Oh, somebody well, super has made an escape. Okay. <laughs> Chaos in the first ten seconds. I know. Let's see what's going on here. Because there. Logan, come here. Say hi. You know, just when I you just when you. just when you think you're yeah. ready. And okay. then you actually turn everything on and it goes completely. So how's it going, everybody? Yeah. Ahoy, hoy, happy Friday. Um, it's been a... It has been a... Um, busy morning? Busy morning, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Logan uh, Cameo, Chaos. I know, right? It's all just... Yeah, I mean, who knows? Who knows what's going on? But I think it, it's better now, right? Why yeah. am I so much taller? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, well now. Well now it's more like a real era. He, he's an inch taller than me, but he acts like he's a foot taller. He's like, I'll get the thing from the top shelf. Actually, I ask him to get I was going to say the top shelf. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we're featuring oh, um, yes. color coordinated um, Vacron coffee cups from the 60s by Bop Decker Plastics. Cheers. They're we very used to cool. have these in our camper when I was a kid. Oh, like these actual ones, or you got ones that no, were like those one, ones? No, ones like this. Oh, okay. These, these, these were... These are awesome. From the eBay. Oh, from the eBay. Yeah. Um, gosh, so let's... Uh, should we say hi to everyone? We should say hi to everybody. I guess it's like our second show back from being on a week I vacation. Know. I'm still a little like, uh... It's funny. It was, <laughs> it was calm up until three minutes before time to go, and then suddenly... <laughs> Well, I tried to get a lot done this morning. Yep. I was doing a lot. Yeah, you were prepared. It was a, yeah, so. <laughs> so let's say hi to everyone over there. Yeah, let's see who on, is with us today. And hi to everyone on Facebook, too. Yeah, and everybody. Anyone who doesn't uh, uh, join the chat, hi to you, too. Let's see. So, glasses off. All um, right. Apples is here from Europe. Hey, Apples, how's it going? Aquamite TV, Avernus Workshop, Brickanista, Chris, I hate Elf on the Shelf Chalice. I'm <laughs> with you, man. Um, Cowboy Cornado is here. Ahoy, howdy. Uh, David Wilkie is here. How's it going? Gwyneth uh, Cosby all is here. Yes, and Fabby Fan MKE, Hooded One, Jedi Rob Frost. Joel Marbella, Johnny Cat. Hi, hey, Johnny. Oh, Julia Hornberger is all signed on. And it's, it is not just the, the overarching Hornbergers. We've got individuals today. Very specific today. Hornberger. <laughs> uh, Yano River Blue is here. Hi, Yano. Um, Marilyn, Marilyn Parmley. Parmley. Hi, Marilyn and Steve and David, all of our favorite Parmleys. Uh, Matthew Builds Bricks is here. Hey, Matthew. How's it going? Um, Mini Fig Chick, of course. Ms. Slow Brickta. Remy Baker is here. Wow, somehow twice. Oh, really? Was he? Was well, Avernus Workshop. I don't know. Oh, I'm right. Just saying, you well, never, I don't know. Well, I mean, you have never, you ever seen them in the same room? Together? I've never seen them in the same room together. So All right. you know, um, I've never seen them in the same room. <laughs> Rob Ketcherside is here. Rob Zaccardi and the Zaccardis. Hello, Zaccardis. Scott Caswell Yay, is here. Scott. Hey, Scott. How's it going? Uh, Shane Levan. Hey, Shane. Uh, the Hornburgers, the uh, the the rest of the Hornburgers, hoi <laughs> <laughs> hoi Hornburgers, um, Wilfred, bonsoir, Zach Martinez, Zarakino, Kim, and, and then Alyssa. Alyssa, who somehow magically made it to the to the end of the list after yeah. Kim. That's amazing. well, maybe her amazing font choice. I think it's. In the I think list it might be. Does that. <laughs> I, I didn't even know you could select fonts. I know, and I even asked her about it, and she was cagey. Oh, she got it. Want, I think she doesn't want <laughs> me to know. Let sort of. the secret out. <laughs> well, we have a lot going on today. It's one of our Friday show and tells, so that's cool. Yes, yeah, we have lots of... So we've got things, and also we have... Um, we features. have features and things. So I have to say, it was great. Like, we got... Um, Sort of less people than I would have thought put submitting stuff, but mm -hmm. we have just as many photos, which I love. Yeah, so the people, <laughs> people who built built a lot. I love it. It's we built, so good. We have stuff to share with you. Um, yeah, so I'm going to let me uh, just. Mm. Okay, so a couple things. I even wrote some things down so I yes. don't forget them. Um, oh, first of all. We are um, actually looking for some build challenge ideas. We've been coming up with lots oh, of build yeah. challenges. We've done a couple by y'all, 
But we thought, like, moving into 2021, we have some set up for the, for the, for the holidays. Mm -hmm. But moving into 2021, we thought it would be a fun idea to take some ideas from y'all. So um, I just posted, like, seconds before we went up, I posted oh, that was on, part of the um, flurry. Yes, on trickybricks.com, I posted a Google form where you can submit your ideas. And if we use your idea, we will credit you uh, for that when we give out the challenge. Um, so that should be fun. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, some. We, this is actually tricky bricks news, um, right? We so want, we want to know what you think, and you have such creative ideas. So the other tricky bricks news we have is after last show, I added an events calendar. So now oh, right. you can go to trickybricks.com/events-calendar. Um, or just I'm go sure, to the homepage and you can find it. Uh, yeah, easily. it's on the homepage, and I'm sure also the Queen of Links will be posting that link for you shortly. Um, but there is an events calendar now. Um, it was... Uh, so we'll have the build challenges. Yeah, the build we'll challenge have, will be listed there. If there's a con coming up. If, yeah, if there's a con coming up, the, sh the schedule for the shows, um, any, uh, uh, any stuff from collaborations the or whatever we're working on, stuff from the Discord server. Hopefully we're trying to get it all kind of like meshed and in line. So... Um, so yeah, is it based on the Gregorian calendar? It's a Google calendar. <laughs> That's the best I could do on short notice. Well, um, it's yes. I mean, flawed, so yes. flawed though it is. So we got to catch up every four years, you know, with a leap day. But that's the calendar we use. Yeah, so, um, but anyway, there you what, go. Are, are there people using alternates these days? There must be. It can't be the only calendar in use today. I don't know. I don't know what it I, makes it easier on the web, though, if January 4th is January 4th. What I know about <laughs> calendars could fill a one-page book. Um, even having created one. Oh, actually. mine? Actually, what I know about them could fill a thimble, but I could talk about it for about an hour. <laughs> Oh yes, Mini Fig Shake is right. If you want anything um, add, um, added to the calendar, um, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you have anything to add to the calendar, you can email me, Flynn at trickybricks.com, or you can email Mini Fig Chick um, for that as well, and we can add things to the calendar. Um, if there's like events coming up or something that you want, like that you want to, you know, put on. Obviously, we can't list like. Everyone's and actually, you know, it wouldn't be. It's not a bad idea if people want to uh, want a shout out on their birthday. Yeah, um, sure, that would be fun. Um, if we want a shout out for your birthday, you are certainly welcome to send us your birthday, and we will um, we will add it up. We will add those to the calendar. But if you're going to add birthday, if you want to add birthdays, send them to me. I don't want to. I don't want to burden uh, Shane and Minifig Chick. Shane also yep. said you could email him with calendar stuff. Cool. Uh, just wanted to make sure. Well, and um, then we'll probably add a feature, which is what's up on the calendar. Yeah, what's up on the calendar. So, the, um, yeah, I'm very excited about the calendar. I think it's going to be, it's going to be good. Yep. Um, so, and Alyssa, let me know how that goes for you. That um, new edgy calendar. I know. <laughs> Maybe I'll be looking into that. I know. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the uh, let's talk about let's do some Lego news. Do, 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 oh. Do, 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 oh yeah, do, there's do, no do, 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 do. Lego news uh, from oh, the Brothers nice Brick. Audio clip. Thank you. We're gonna be using that in the future. Um, so here is um, this is Brothers Brick, where we always get our news. Thank you, Brothers Brick. Um, and the that Lego has unveiled the legendary off-road Technic four two one two two Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Now, well, I know people are going to be very excited about this. And it's i got to say, for a, a, a Technic set, it's on the cheaper end. Yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Um, it's tough for me to tell from the photos or the image. I'd have to go in and count the, the circles in a beam to know just what the scale is on it. But I learned to drive in a Jeep CJ7 out in the desert. Um, and so I have this thing about Jeeps and my mom, who was completely awesome, drove that Jeep around. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> That's so awesome. In heels. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she was awesome. So, um, so I like this. I like Technic as well. And it looks like the front wheel steer, which makes it much more interesting to me. Oh yeah, so uh, yeah, I don't know. You can I'm read just all about it. To learn so about this. Not only is this news up, but Brothers Brick just posted um, a review. So if you're interested uh, in what that's like, what it's all about, you can check out that review on BrothersBrick.com. Okay, um, they were practical heels, right? 
<laughs> Do we like this color? Uh, the yellow? Well, okay. I, I don't know. It doesn't look like many Jeeps that I've seen out, you know, on the road. Um, but I like Technic. I don't know. I, it feels very Lego to me. I was going to say, it feels very Lego. It's like quintessential Lego color, of course. But my... Uh, for me, like, just from a completely, like, you know, artistic standpoint, yeah. we were talking just the other day about how they were, the, how they're really making an effort to make the Technic, pe the Technic pieces look less Technic and more finished. And this kind yeah. of seems to be a little bit back from um, from that, well, but it is at a lower price point, and you know, yeah, I think it's the roll bars that do that for me, right? Like yeah. all the molding around the hood is great. I mean, I really like this model, but I think it's like if you like Technic, you'll like this model. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and so um, that's right, uh, Remy Baker. I forgot to tell you that um, Lego is actually hiring a designer right now. Set designers, it is out. Oh. You can go to Lego.com on their careers area, and um, yeah, there you go. Um, it, Charisma's here. Hey, Charisma, how's it going? And yes, I agree with you. The yellow kind of gives it a little bit of a of a work vehicle sort of feeling. Yeah, you know, like a dump truck or you know, a like what you see in their city line. Right? right, right. Well, Technic has a lot of those big like earth movers and that sort of stuff yeah um but i'm looking at the box here and it seems like i mean maybe i'm reading too much into it but it seems like they're aiming this at an older audience you know it's yeah. again it's got that kind of like brookstone like put it on a pedestal photography with all the vignette in there that, that we're seeing in some of their ultimate collector sets very cool. You think? I don't know. Yeah. It started sounding like a commercial there. But no, I, I mean that, that was just... you. That was a very insightful. Oh, thank you. Thing. Every now and then, you know. <laughs> every now and then. Um. So, oh, just real quick, and I forgot while we're on this screen. Yeah. Um. I just wanted to show you. I'm sorry. This is. I know this is off a little bit. I will open that up for you so you can see the whole thing. Here is just the calendar. Um. I just wanted to show you, I should have shown you this first, but you can see that like now we're going to be listing what the challenge is for the week, the build to give challenges here. You can see that there's the show. You can see that Saturday at 10 a.m. there's a Tricky Lug meeting. Um, right on. And a Tricky Lug Zoom meeting. And if that's something that you're interested in attending, please make sure that you contact Minifig Chick and she will get you um, an invite to that. So you'll well, be able cool. to see. see it's already it's already earned its keep. It's already earned its keep. Exactly. Um um, and you can see, like, this is going through the month. You can see that, yes, we will not be having a show on Christmas Day, nor will we have a show on January 1st. So that's going to be a couple weeks, um, you know, where we're not there on a thing. On, on a, a Friday. On a Friday. Oh, yes, Tricky Lug. Sorry, Minifig Chick says contact her at trickylug at gmail.com. Oh, cool. Keep it all organized. Yeah. So, yay. So the calendar, it's there exciting <laughs> i'm i'm excited that's cool it. and and when you first had it it was small and you made it uh, you made it big easy to read yes yeah so everything's everything's on there and you'll be able to so that way if there's any question about like what's the challenge this week or whatever you can always look at the calendar so there you go uh let's see so again da, 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 da. oh you, you have, have a script i do i have my yes my script written on, on the, the back, back of, of an, an envelope, envelope. <laughs> <laughs> Seat of Your Pants Productions. Super presents. classy. Super classy. You know what we didn't oh, do? Disney pins. That's right. We didn't do Disney pins. Um, I'll start off today. Okay. To have mine right here. Um, here we go. Um, oh, it worked. Hi. Almost. I saw him for a second. Oh, come go on. Go in again. Come go away and go. Uh, no. This is gonna be a oh, jerk. Oh, here, let me let me try anyway, it and you'll talk about it. Yeah, you're really good at that. You're getting good at, at seeing blurry Disney pins. So that's um oh there you go. Thank you, Clicky and Richard. Um it's Dumbo's hat with Timothy the Mouse um perched inside. It's very cute. And I've got another kind of futuristic, weird Epcot Center eco positive something. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hidden Mickey. Well, it reminds I'm me. I'm sure somebody will know exactly. Yeah, what anyone is. who knows what this is, please tell me, because this is like you didn't um, get a chance to look that one up today. No, I didn't look this one up. Um, but it reminds me when you go inside the giant um, Buckminster Fuller sphere there. What's it called? Um, at Epcot, the uh, Spaceship Earth. Spaceship Earth. You go inside the and you learn about ball? about ecology and science and conservation. Remember, we did that. We did that whole ride. It's the a ride through, and, and it's, it goes. Th- oh, that's a different ride altogether. That's not the ball. Okay, well, that's I'm, not I'm mixing Earth. them up, but it was at Epcot Center, <laughs> right? Yes. All right. Um, hey, Chip, Chief Brick Geek, how's it going? Welcome. We're just oh, um, put it on. flying down the, the Lego news for anybody who's just joining us. We now have an events calendar on our website. There's also a form that you can uh, fill out to see, uh, to post your ideas for future build challenges. Um, and yes, Epcot is still a thing. It's, you know, I'm such a science nerd. I love it. I love Epcot. And we, um, it's got all the... Um, it has pavilions for different countries, right? So mm-hmm. they've got food uh, representative of those countries, and I think I can we never had... go back to the German pavilion again. Well, that was that was rough after after a particularly <laughs> rough roller coaster ride. Well, it wasn't we a went... roller coaster, but what was it? It was the space. It was the the simulator. Oh, it was. So I love that we went into the centrifuge ride um, um, mission to something in space nope um and they say look forward and they spin you fast and then we went and had german food and flynn wasn't feeling so well Mm -mm. but um but on a nicer afternoon we made reservations to see their amazing um light and water work uh, uh fireworks show on the lake and we ate fish and chips Oh yeah, right. And the... had cold English beer. We had this uh, the, sitting the right on the water. Room. Yeah, yep. it was fun. And well, we you were had, right there. You had beer. I don't yep. drink. The beer. I almost never drink, but I felt like I don't know. We were at an English um, restaurant with fish and chips, and it just sounded good. <laughs> it was good. It was really good. We had wine with Thanksgiving. We did. Look at yeah. We don't need to go there. We're not promoting any kind of thing like that. No, but we had we um. had we had nice steaks. All right, so um, I think it's time for our special Friday feature. All right. It's not doing it anymore. (laughs) What Friday feature? Uh, It's the Friday feature that I got to find in the list now because I have to do it all manually. Thank you very much. Um, (laughs) There it is. No, no, no. Hello, it's the thing from the crypt, and Chris oh, Chalice is uh, shaming uh, uh, uh. you for having having drunk um, uh, cold British beer because it's supposed to be warm. Just saying. Oh. Um, I don't think it was very cold. It wasn't icy. I will say, I gave to it be fair, I, it was five years ago, so it probably... Actually, no, gosh. Yeah, five years ago now. Five plus years ago. Five plus years ago now. And so it was... I drank it the way they served it to me. So All right. it may not have been a very authentic restaurant at Epcot Center. <laughs> you think? <laughs> okay, so, but on to our feature that we are featuring. Uh, thing from the crypt. I have a couple of things that we pulled down from our wall today. Um, and oh, so yeah. the first one is, so we love horror movies, and I love, like, really cheesy, terrible old horror movies and as well. And this fits. fits this the one bill. definitely fits the bill. This is um, Straight Jacket with Joan Crawford, where she plays an axe murderess. It is ridiculous. Well, and she is, is ridiculous. And it's amazing. And if you've never seen it, you should check it out, because it's hilarious. And it was... Um, so it's, it was produced and directed by William Castle, who, if you don't know who that was, he was like the king of movie gimmicks. And his probably his most famous one that you might have heard of was called The Tingler. And it was with Vincent Price, and it was about this like creature that like would attach itself to your spine, and the only way that you could get it off of you was by screaming. <laughs> and they, awesome. they, he like paid to have buzzers hooked up underneath the theater seats. And then at a point in the movie when it escapes, the Tinkler escapes, somebody up in the booth would start like zapping people's seats and everybody like lost their minds. Screams. It was 
there was a lot of there was a lot of crazy stuff that went. He did. I mean, and he did tons more other than that. Now yeah. this was towards the end of his career and, and hers. And hers. And like by this time they had like they were handing out I think paper axes at the like you know prop axes. Really? Yeah, that was their gimmick. And I believe I re I read somewhere that at the premiere. Joan Crawford showed up and took the entire audience out for hamburgers afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Which is amazing. Awesome. Can you imagine? <laughs> I, I um, play an axe murderess. Come to Yeah, with well, me. William Castle's awesome and he did like he would he did another thing where he would like hire actresses to to wear nurses uniforms and oh, hang out yeah. in the lobby as like a um, like a nurse's station, in case you got too scared, you and you come weren't out feeling and well. Like, you weren't feeling well. You could come out to like the nurse. It's like really amazing. Awesome. Um, yeah. Her so. later movies are amazing. Um, well, I mean, her entire career, of course, is amazing. But I love for the just sheer schlock value. Joel's never seen a Joan Crawford movie. Hey, that's okay. You're not. You don't. You're. You're good. You're good. But if you're gonna see one, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. So, um, and then, so then I have another, um, another, another one. This is a bit bigger. Um, so this is two top thriller chillers. I was a teenage werewolf, and oops, I can't go Here, higher can go because of that. Yep. Invasion of the Saucer Men, which is that that one down the bottom, <laughs> the big giant, giant bubblehead head. alien. That was like a big thing. And of course, I was a teenage werewolf. Starred Michael Michael Landon, right? It from was Little House on the Prairie. It was, yeah. It's his name's right That's there. A Michael tortured Landon. Tortured soul. So the dad from Little House on the Prairie, if you even remember that show, he was in this as the um, as the werewolf. Pretty hilarious. But or the um, were werewolf the people who play werewolves in movies have a hard time of it. They're tortured souls. They always, always. Um, so, yes, and, and tr it's true, Chris, um, he did, he also played an angel on his, on that show, he did. Highway to Heaven, which yep. came after um, Little House on the Prairie, but, you know, there you go. All right. Oh, and, of course, he, he played Little Joe. Um, oh, on, on Gunsmoke. On no. no, no, not Big Valley. Bonanza, what was Bonanza, yes. Yeah, so like in the in the late fifties, early sixties, there was like a huge like surge of Western TV shows. They were really popular. Yeah, yeah Big like, Big Valley, Gunsmoke, Bonanza, The Rifleman. Like there were tons of there was like tons of them. It was pretty hilarious. Petticoat Junction. Um, Petticoat. <laughs> well, I don't know that that one really counts. <laughs> I don't know if that one really counts. Well, they, and what was the one with Victoria Barkley? Was that Big Valley? That was Big Valley, yeah. Victoria and, Barkley. And, and oh, oh, and harsh. as long as we're going there, who was, um, she was in Dallas, Linda Evans. Oh, yes, Linda, Linda Evans, Evans. Linda Evans was on it. And if you really want to, like, now cross the streams, uh, uh, cross the rabbit holes, if you will. Yeah. Joan Crawford starred in a 1960s, maybe it was 50s Western called Johnny Guitar. <laughs> was it a musical? Um, the, it, no, no, it was not a musical. And really, I mean, you know, like, I know a lot of people say a lot of stuff about Joan Crawford's early stuff, and she was amazing in the early stuff, but man, her later stuff, like, um, is just outrageous and hilarious. Thanks, hey, Mark. Hey, thanks, Mark. Good to see you. Uh, anyway, so there you go. Well, she had a she had a long career and and just wasn't afraid to go there. <laughs> she was not. <laughs> All right. Um, well, that was pretty fun from just pulling something was. down off the wall. Yeah, that was like the pulling off the wall version of Things from the Crypt. Oh, so that was a wild TV little. I know. Sorry there. about that. That was like yeah, like rabbit holes upon rabbit holes upon rabbit holes. A trog. trog. Oh yeah, there's another one. Yes, Ooh, Johnny. man. Yeah, you could just. There's a whole list of them. Hey, Joshua S. Um, very cool. All wow, right, you so wrote this in like four point type. I didn't. <laughs> it just kind of came out like that. Um, <clears throat> all right. So I think it's time to move on to our slideshow. Let's do that. What do you think? All right. Let's so, have show and tell. This this week uh, or weeks actually, we uh, uh, were all sort of like participating in the build to give challenge, which is the um, the Legos program where you make a holiday ornament, you post it on social media, you hashtag it, build to give, 
And for everyone that goes up, they're giving away, I think, up to a million Lego sets to uh, to a child in need. That so, is amazing. Yeah, so every time you hashtag build to give, a child in need gets a Lego set, which is amazing. You know, we're fans. It's no secret we're fans of Lego, but gosh, there's just another super nice thing Lego is doing. Yeah, and I and I think, t- and too, like, like I said, I know, like, not everybody um, like, actually sent in stuff, but if you go on to Instagram and you check out the, the hashtag build to give, and I know people were also hashtagging uh, tricky lug and tricky bricks as well so you can look at those and get an idea of kind of like the breadth of stuff because there was a lot i was completely blown away by the amount of stuff that people put up well you so. can also start to see the techniques people use to put them together like there's yeah. a few pieces that make ornaments a lot easier exactly okay are we ready for slides let's do it i, think I haven't we're ready seen for them. slides dun 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 all right. Yay. So kicking off our uh, Build to Give Challenge. Oh, uh, bye, Aquamike TV. We'll see you later. Um, let me see. Aquamike TV. Wow, this is amazing. And no, this is by Albert Lee. Um, this is Classic Space Holiday Wreath and Vic Viper Ornament. Whoa, this is wonderful. And we've got some other views. Check out the awesome greebling on that. I know. I am super. And there's a nice close-up. And we'll go back and look at that greebling again. But I wanted nice. to get a close-up. I love tiny spaceships. And on the minifigure action stand, too. Yeah. You know, i got to say, Albert is an amazing builder. And I, um, you know, we've I've seen a lot of the stuff that he posts on the show, you know, for, the, for our challenges. But he also just posts amazing stuff on his Instagram. So um, really, really really great well yeah. i'm a huge fan of micro i think it's so hard to do and those wow there's just not a wasted piece there yeah and i want to let's take another look at this outer ring here and because, I, wow. I think the addition of well the red and the red and green just kind of makes sense um anyway in, in the theme and they make sense perfectly for ornaments but i think it keeps it from being all gray so the gray is a background and then those little like caution yellow well so what and then each one of those sections is what so that's two two studs wide and what two four six eight ten twelve four to the best of my ability to tell like between 12 and 16 studs wide and i'm gonna guess that that's hinged with with clip and bar yeah and i see how um how he's used inverse slopes there to fill in in the in the yep. inner ring there i think it's just so smart it's it's so clever bill de greeble says moto indeed <laughs> <laughs> hi moto by the way hi I want to see a um, I want to see a like green screen space scene featuring this. And I love the 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 way that he's hung the ship is with one of those those great clear pieces that we like that hold the yeah. things. And then That's what I'm saying the minifigure action. Yeah, the little curve. Yeah, you know, a little hook. So brilliant. Very nice. Oh, Albert says fragile just connected by the 2 by 2 hinges. Um, it was just to display the ornament. Got it. Well, <laughs> hey, it works. It's amazing. Well, They're so really it's not great. swooshable. Very cool. Maybe once. All right. Whoa, oh, pretty. This is from Alexander23. Uh, this is my Lego Christmas tree star ornament. Um, he said, but I, wa- I wanted something small, but then my building got the best of me, and I came up with this. I totally understand. You I know what? see what happened. I'm noticing me here too. that my um, part of my um, things are cut off, so I'm going to have to open this up. Well, we got a giant screen over here. We could just look at it on the screen. Yeah, sorry, everybody. I got a... And we're going to be all pale and gross looking because I'm oh, yeah. white it's on the screen. Blue. Um, Let's see. There we well, go. Well, I'd love to see this with a bunch of Christmas lights around it because all that trans color would just really just glow um, with, you know, with light behind it. You keep going. Sorry. All right. Well, I'm I'm also super into the use of my favorite color, medium azure, in those leaves uh, on the love sides. Medium azure. Right. I think it makes a great background for the the trans clear pieces, and I'm envious of how many of those sticks you have. We're yes, always me too. looking for one of those. We have several pink ones, but maybe only one or two of the um, one or two of the clear ones. 
Look at this. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. Are you printing? Right I am now? printing right now a new script so that we can see. Um, we can see our thing. I can read our script. A little I'd bit love better. to see the back of this and see how all those join. I think. I'm not sure, but I think I'm seeing one of those octagonal thing, white things that yes. has an axle hole in the middle yes. and bars all around. Those are for, fantastic for creating um, starburst shapes. Yep. Um, he's done a really, really great job here. Oh, very. Oh, there we go. Much better. Much better. Um, oh, okay. So because there's more. I hope it inspires Lego artists out there to shine and bring light and joy to so many families around the world. I decided to add floral components to this piece to symbolize new growth and the fruits of uh, its own reward. Um, I come from a long line of family people who grew plants from flowers, trees, grapevines, hedges, etc. Mm. I chose to intermix floral components with an alien space snowflake look. It's great. That's awesome. And I love the fact that it's so personal and makes it so much cooler. Yeah. Did we get Can the you... second page? No, it didn't print a second page. Are you sure? Um, oh, it's it thinks you want to print labels is why. No, just do this. Hey, oh, Technic stuff. Let's move that out of the way. It'll work. There you go. Okay. So, sorry. Um, all right. Very good, Alex23. Sorry about that for that little little mix up there. I just can't do. Um, really cool. It's double layer, eight sided part. Oh, very cool. All right. There's your other one. Oh, and here's some more. Here's some another view. Will you close that window over there? I sure will. Oh, cool. You did show us how you did it. Whoa, and I love that honeycomb piece. We've seen that wow. before, right? Yeah, that's really, really cool. Really cool. What was that? Remind me what the honeycomb piece was from. I don't remember. Someone in the chat remembers. Maybe Alex. Um, well, that's cool. Thanks for showing us how it how it is. And then I see there's two layers of those um, of those sticks rotated at Hero 45 factory. degrees. Hero factory. There you go. That's a good reason to get Hero Factory. Really nice. Well done, Alex. Very nice. Uh, Yana wants to visit that planet. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Okay, this... This is... <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. No, y'all, this is so silly. You don't even know. I love Blair Archer so much. Can I tell you how much I love Blair? Um, so <laughs> well, this kind good. of goes with our, our thing from the crypt. <coughs> it kind of does, but when you see the other part of it. So this is part one. This is the other part. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Intrigo Montoya. You cut down my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> <laughs> None are safe when this ghost of Christmas trees past comes pining for vengeance. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can be displayed with or without man in black for context and excitement. <laughs> <laughs> well... I got to say, I got a lot from looking at that ornament, but I did not get that story. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I love it. Ooh, oh, my goodness. Hey, now, the Mowgli is many here. How's chick. it going? Good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Glad to have you here. I hear he also oh. fences with his right hand, Moto. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And it says, I am not left branched. <laughs> oh my goodness oh I Blair am also not left brand I love you that's amazing and hilarious and what's Woo. the I'm wondering what the loop is if that's it looks like a piece of string uh, like a, a Lego piece of string. string with a couple of yeah a couple of studs on it right well you know I love ridiculous and silly jokes well it's so straight to the point it looks old-fashioned it right? does but from, yes from, like you got it from your grandparents. Exactly. So this is three, from Brickanista, three mashup ornaments. Um, Brickanista and three ships. Cool. I saw three ships a-sailing. I like that. And you used the, the not illegal technique of putting the plates in between. Yeah, the great, great way to do a tiny build. Yeah. And a very good. I love, I love your sig fig. That's awesome. Um, this one is, 
Batmanda and Chubbin and Batmandalorian and the Child on a holiday <laughs> run. <laughs> Batmanda and Chubbin. Batmandalorian is pretty awesome. There's, there's, Bat, Batman there's Batman and, and, and Chubbin. Chubbin. <laughs> Chubbin. <laughs> and then this is the Batmandalorian, which is great. I love the um the build of the ship. It's yeah. really fun. Yeah, it's super cool. I really um it's <laughs> I'm so and good in get... Christmas colors, like Christmas colors with the Mandalorian. Yeah, and the and the Batman and the Mandalorian, Batman Mandalorian. Is pretty Mandalorian. genius. And it says, um, uh, "Many thanks to Debo Bricks for the inspiration for Batman Mandalorian." There we go. See, that's what I love. Tricky Bricks and Tricky Lug people, um, just encouraging and and uh, inspiring one another. That's so awesome. <laughs> oh, it's a mod from the Mandalorian Battle Pack. Got it. It's a great mod. It's, a... <laughs> it's really fun. I love it. All right. Very good. I love that. That's this so too. fun. <laughs> I want to I wish I could see all of these on, you know, on a tree. Now, this is from Brickaroo Bonsai, a Christmas wreath ornament for the Lego Build to Give challenge. There you go. Oh, the cherries as holly berries are great. Yeah, I really um I really like this a lot. It's and really... the hook the hook is elegant. Oh yeah, the hook is like a legit Lego piece. That's awesome. And yeah. now I don't think those do those clouds come in green? Is this this is a no, this is a render? render. Yeah. Um, but I haven't seen those clouds in green. It's still I really awesome. <laughs> yeah, the train the train switch part. It's all good. Very cool. Oh yeah. Very cool. Love it. Thank you, Brickaroo. Good, wouldn't to, it, good to see from you again. Wouldn't it be great to see all of these on a tree with Christmas lights around them? Yes. Or, yes. Hol holiday, holiday lights. Holiday lights. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! This is from Chris Chalice, and it's a bauble full of clickies. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, there are green clouds, and they come from the toad huts in the Mario sets, so oh, it is a legit piece. That's great. That is very, very cool. We need that legit piece. I keep thinking we don't need mm. any more Lego, and then I find something, right? It's always you know the way. How, you know how it is. I do. I do, in fact, know how it is. All right. This is so fun. And this is from Jaden Chalice. Very... Oh, I like this. This is cool. I like the shapes. Now, is that a heart... Sh is that like a full gray heart-shaped plate, or is that a square plate with the two half rounds attached to it? I don't see any... But I don't see a line. There. It looks like a full heart plate. Oh, it's a white heart. Got it, got it. Very good. All oh, right. got it. This feels very, to me, this feels very Star Wars. Like, I see all of those Star Wars medallions with the symbols of the different It does factions. seem very Star Wars. That's the first thing I thought of. I was like, oh, is this a Star Wars thing? It has that feeling to it. Yeah. Um, it comes from like, dots. All right. Very, and I like very... what, I don't know what to call that black piece in the upper parts, there, I use it for micro vehicles. But yeah, they I use like it for, I think, like the fronts of planes and stuff yeah. like that. It's awesome. I love this. <laughs> Very cool. It also has a kind of, um, oh, Debo Brick says, um, feels Kingdom Hearts to me. It also does oh. have that feeling. It does have that Kingdom Hearts feeling to it as well. Really cool. Nice. All right, Chris and Jaden, thank you. Oh, this is lovely. It's so pretty. I'm, yeah, this is really just. Wow, how just, oh, I love it. Um, this is from Cowboy Cornado. Of course it is. Um, one candle for world peace. Yay, that's a great sentiment. I love it, and I love the, what is the flame piece? Well, I think on the inside it looks like a mini figurehead, but I can't figure out what it is, what the orange part is. I know, I'm going to have to bring it over here real quick, just so I can see a little Yeah, can bigger. you zoom in at all? Is it, is it a, it's not oh, a Ninjago no, hairpiece, is it? It's an enemy from um, Nexo Knight's helmet. So Nexo Knight's does have some use after all. I love, we have great <laughs> Nexo Knight's parts. We have some Nexo Knight's parts. 
Well, that's um, such a great use. It's a beautiful flame on that count uh, on that candle. Yeah, I, I, it's really, really clever. And of course, you know, I love the um, the the gold swirlies are some of my favorite pieces. And, and then the inverse building on the cone. I have to suppose maybe that's on a, on with an a axle. lightsaber or something. Or an axle would fit there because probably the axle goes up through the middle of the all of these. Oh, right. I'm gonna guess. Um, very, very cool. Wow. Wow. Yeah, pretty old, old fashioned. Very old, and then yeah, like in the most perfect way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is not old fashioned. Oh my goodness! This is uh, Darren Siegfried, um, Nightmare Before Christmas wreath ornament, a present from Sandy Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I was gonna do something, you know. I was funny. I was gonna do something spooky, and I ended up not because I was like, "Well, every, you know," and I'm so glad someone did. <laughs> yes, because I, I didn't, and well, I was the, really hoping someone would. The green lips are awesome. Yeah, and the, the, the bow with the skull in the middle. And I like the use of the different sized teeth because, you know, it yeah. just gives it, it, it just gives more it some, action. It's some, and yeah, and and the and it's kind of like the kooky offset eyes. It's really it's really great. I and love I, it. I think the way the bamboo is scattered around um, gives it a lot of motion too. Yeah, like it's a very animated yep. piece. Well, guess what? What's that? It is time oh, for bum, bum. our special guest. So we're gonna take a quick pause. The oh. quick pause that refreshes everyone. Buddy, yay! Hey, welcome back. It's Logan. He says you got cookies this time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's a big one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, All look, right. Look at everyone. Say hi. Good oh, boy. Right. That's what a, a good, good one. catch. What a good catch. You get one more little piece so that we can hear it. We hear the sound of happiness. <laughs> Yay, Logan! <laughs> yeah, you took a boy. boy. <laughs> All right, bye. Go find the squirrels. I got the full face lick again. Oh, I got my glasses this time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Big smear on the glasses. All right, what a good boy. That makes me happy. How about you, Logan? All right, there we go. No, there's no more cookies. See, it's all gone. All right, back to the slideshow from that that brief diversion. Oof. Yes. You all right there? Yeah, I think I need to refill though. Can you okay. can do that? I can do that before we uh, before we move on, or as we move on. Um, all right. So the next one we've got coming up is from Fabu Fan MKE. I'm very excited for this. Hey, my mom's here. Hi, mom. Hey. How's it going? Um. Let's see. Yes. So this is from Fabifan MKE. This is a micro scale version of my favorite childhood set. I love it. The Yellow Castle classic Lego. Really, really, really fun. I love it. Um. Wow. You. I. I. Well. I love. You know how much I love micro builds. But when you know you can capture. Like I knew what it was as soon as I saw it. It's just. It's. It's. Uh. It's perfect. Uh, let's see. Do you want to see the castle, or shall I move on? Um, hang on a second. Okay, he's coming. <laughs> yeah, the drawbridge, uh, Brickanisa is excellent. Really, really nice, uh, nice use of parts there. Um, there we go. Almost back. Flying in. There you go. Oh, awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Cheers. Oh, look, yeah, see, I just happen to have one of those gold swirly pieces right here, because it's a favorite. Oh, very good. Thank you. I needed that. All right. Um, oh, cool. So, yeah, the, the micro yellow castle. The, I love the drawbridge. Oh, yes. Ooh. This is an, a Christmas, an Xmas version of the Enterprise for Minifig Chick. It's from the Ornament Exchange, right? Oh, nice. Very cool. Wow, really, really cool. Those those peppermint nacelles. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's just too it's too funny and really fun. And clep just like super clever. <laughs> to boldly go to the holidays, indeed. Um and then we have 
A Fabuland Explosion Star. <laughs> wow. Whoa, look at those pieces. Is that a butter churn? That looks like a Fabuland butter I churn. I see a camera, a water, uh, like a watering can, a pan, a vacuum cleaner, a hatchet, an oil can, wrench, Whoa, that's, hammer. The camera is cool. What is it in white? Is net. That a... That's like a. Br it's like a little broom. It looks like a little whisk broom thing. A regular mm. broom, a shovel, a rake, a ladle, a little like what is it like? <laughs> an oil, whatever, whatever that red thing is. Like for your, for your Asti Spumante. I was going to say a bottle of Chianti. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, it's a paintbrush. Yeah, in white. Oh, very this. cool. I love this. It's very um, Katamari. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it makes me think of Katamari. Um, really cool. And another axe. Fabuland Swiss Army Ornament, says Albert Lee. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you could get a lot done with the things in Fabuland. Yeah, yeah, a I love it. A lot of work. It. Sweep up all the leaves. <laughs> I know, now everybody's going to run to the... We'll be running out to uh, to Bricklink to get that, um, that brush. It's cool. <laughs> That's a great piece. All right. Oh, this is so pretty. I love all these. There's such some such really pretty ones. The new um, candles are very pretty too. This is ha from Have Studs Will Will Travel. Uh, the irony is that I do the proof of concept with real physical bricks. Unfortunately, my meager collection of sorted bricks is not good enough mm -hmm. for even my imagination. Oh, now. Um, I have the I, I don't have the elements and the colors I needed, so I ended up realizing the build in studio. Totally That's fair. A great. Um, the inspiration Solution. for all these ornaments is a caterpillar set from one of the monthly builds at a Lego store. The caterpillar metamorphosed into these holiday ornaments. That's, I love the use of the new candle with the lit background so you see light through the translucent piece. Yeah, it's and really it's really nice. The wrench or magnifying glass up at the top is awesome for the hanger. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. Wow, I wish I would have had that for mine. That's yeah, so super good. smart. Very nice. And then the gold jump hey, plates Bricks on Cam, the inside. Hey, Bricks Cam, how's it going? Um, there we go. All right. Oh, <laughs> yay. We have an another Nightmare Before Christmas wreath, which I'm super psyched about. That's so good. See what eyes do for you. I know. Really. All this those is... teeth. And that creepy tongue thing in the middle Blah. is horrifying. This is this looks is like it's really gonna great. come get you. It's like John <laughs> Carpenter's Christmas tree. <laughs> Still get your hand near the center. Um. <laughs> I don't know exactly what's happening here, but I love, I love it so much. <laughs> I love it. <this. laughs> This is really hilarious. Um, it does get cold on Hoth. It's true. Really, well, those, really the, funny. The quarter round tiles to make a mosaic heart are pretty cool. Yeah, and it's I like the patchwork quality of it too. That's really that's really really cool. Very fun. I don't know. I can't help but think that these stormtroopers are in love. <laughs> I know. I know. Right. Well, there's a giant heart underneath of them. So yes, uh, really good. All right. Um. Oh, this Whoa. is from Hooded One. Whoa. Um, now, this, I saw this on um, on Instagram and was completely blown away. Oh, my goodness. I mean, just, I mean, really, uh, really, really outrageously amazing. I think this, the, um, the lighting is amazing on this with the refraction on the, on the beautiful rumpled background. Um... But I can't, for the life of me, think how this is all attached. It's. I guess it's it's a little bit of stressed construction. Oh, you know what right? it is? It's that piece that's shaped. It's a. It's a. It's like for a it's cockpit. It's shaped or like right? it's just. Um, they use it a lot in blue for waterfalls in the yeah, friends' we, sets. Yeah, we've, we've, we've seen that. They're just a straight loop, and then they're all attached together by the ends. On the inner loosely, radius, on the inner right? Ra on the inner so ring, it's a yeah. little bit stressed construction. Yeah, it's 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 gorgeous hooded so one. This pretty. is lovely. Really, really just super pretty. And this pretty. is a beautiful photograph, yeah, too. Yeah, it's got it all. It's got it all. This would make a lovely big print. Oh, now this is definitely stressed construction. Yeah, that's really cool. Is this cool. also hooded one? Yes, this is also hooded one. Um, 
That's really, really, really lovely. What's the attachment at the point, I wonder? I can't tell from the photograph. Is it a, it's not a two by two, maybe it's just a one by two plate. Bye, Ms. Slow Brickta, we'll see you later. Well, I'd be interested to know what's joining the points. I, I think it's just a one by two plate. Yeah, um, Hooded One says this is very stressed. Yes. It's really beautiful, yeah, though. I love great. it. Yeah, it's great. Really cool. I bet it fell apart a bunch of times before it was done. Now, I saw this this morning in the small version as I was uploading them um, to the slideshow, and I am i don't even know, like, what is that corner piece? Like, I, like the, the, the yeah, piece that I makes up the corners of the, of the cube. I don't, it's, I'm seeing so many pieces today that I don't immediately recognize, which is amazing. Plus some really great, is that drum, what's it called? Drum roll lacquer? Yeah, lacquer. Drum, uh, lacquer drum, drum roll. lacquered gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the new corner piece is from Mickey and Minnie's camera. Oh, very cool. Wow. And then the fit of the of the plus sign on the side with the two corner chamfered pieces. Yeah, really, really nice. And the space for the chains. That doesn't seem like stress construction. That seems like a deliberately made space there of about a plate yeah. for the chain to go through. Really, it's it's really very clever. I love the build. Wow. And that that rumpled background is a great example of how you ha you know you can use something that's not a super costly material. Um, to make a beautiful texture in the background. Oh, Hooded One says 19 Technic pieces inside. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This, I that, would love to see what that looks like on the inside. I think that was really, really cool. Wow. Yeah, this reminds me of some Charles Wallace work there. With the there's clever Lego math involved with this. Uh, so, uh, sorry, real quick. Brick uh, Brickman Mosaics Art says, does the Zoom meeting tomorrow cost anything, or is it free? It does not cost anything. It is it is free. Um, and you can contact uh, Minifig Chick, uh, Tricky Lug at gmail dot com, yeah. and she can get you and hooked up. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, but. Um, Basically, Tricky Bricks doesn't cost anything. Yeah, no. This is a, a no-cost venture. <laughs> right? <laughs> as much as we, possible. Yeah, we may do a rebrick challenge where we say you can buy, you know, you can buy or receive a set. But that's as close to money as we get. This yeah. is a free thing. Okay. Here we go. Oh, very nice. I love this. Colors, first of all, are amazing. <laughs> I see, um, am I, like, seeing some... Coral. Oh, it is. so close. It is coral. <laughs> I he's, do see he's coral. He's so serious. He is, he's very, very serious. Um, that poor kid. Little does he know we make fun of him every week. Why is so um, serious? So this is, I believe, this is Joshua Zender. This is from Joshua Zender. I love the I love the little spaceship and the guy in it is is hilarious. Well, to <laughs> me, it's a combination between a spaceship and a space creature. Like I could almost see those being legs as well. What now? Is it? Does it say it's a spaceship? Because it also looks kind of like a space creature. There to is me. no. There are no. There is nothing in here that says what it is. It's just uh, just the photos. Right, like with an Aztec mouth. Yes. Um. Let me see. Space sleigh. <laughs> I like that. It's a spa it is a space sleigh. <laughs> um, okay. There we go. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's another one from the side. It is kind of a space sleigh. I love it. That's great. Super fun. Wow. What, what in the Lego is that? So this is um, from Ms. Slow Brickta, and she says, it was hard to pick just three. I know. <laughs> so um, this was, the first one is a Elsa Frozen-inspired globish ornament. Very good. With with brilliant lighting, lighting up those those um, trans clear tiles. Yeah, I really really like this a lot. It's so it's really pretty. Wow, very cool. Yeah, nice nicely lit, nicely built. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is um, wreath in shades of green and trans red. Very nice. Yeah, I like the, um, is that lime green bamboo in sandwiched in there? Yes. Yep. Very nice. I like the combination yeah, of parts. Very 3D. 
And then this is, um, how funny, we have things in common. Ms. Sloberta and I have something in common. That, that's like, true. Um, uh, delicate lacy white snowflake with hints of chili blue. She says, yes, it's hung on my wall on a nail. That's fine. That's nice. It's a decoration. Decoration doesn't mean it has to hang on a tree, I would say. It's an um, ornament. Yeah, it's really, I really love it. It's great. So pretty. And yes, we have, I did something similar. <laughs> uh, uh, so You'll see. Using similar pieces, actually. I see a yeah, lot of the same pieces. Yeah, some of the same, same like those there. dots pieces, right? Yeah, it's really, uh, really, really cool. Yes, you can see the nail. Yes, it's true. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is cool. Ooh. So this is Wait, from more coral. Wait, what? Are yeah, you it's, sure? It's got right it there. It is. It's, it's got coral. All right. You just wanted me to do that again. I did so much. <laughs> I'm also really appreciating the geometry of this. Um. So this is. Wait. Now I feel like I'm, I'm, at the wrong place. Have you gotten off? Oh no! This is it. Do you see? Gold bricks in there? No. Okay. Um, is this, I believe, Parker Wismer? I just want to double check. Um, I'm going to open, I'm going to pop this open and see if I've uh, got the right thing here. So give me a second, everybody. I want to make sure we got this um, right. I don't think it's the same one because this one talks about um, the string from which to hang it. Mm. Okay, so I know this is... This is Patrick Wismer. No, this is Parker. Parker Wismer. You yes. got it? This okay. is the right one. Um, oh, there is a string there. I see it's hang it's on a stand, right? Yeah, I just wanted the to make sure. The piece with the could... dishes is hanging on a stand that from behind. Yeah, I so, get it now. So it says using gold bricks, large dishes, and a healthy dose of snot bricks, Parker designed and built this ornament. Dad helped only with the string from which to hang it and the stand to hold it. Wow, well, the geometry is so perfect in this. I love how, um, I think it's got a smaller dish Oh, now on the I bottom. see the gold bricks. Yeah. Very cool. There. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's hanging. It just took me from that angle. I was like, it all looked like one thing, but now I see that it's actually, the ball part is the ornament, and it's hanging from the little hanger. Really, really cool. It's tight. Yeah, it really is. It could be a trophy, absolutely. Oh, oh yay. yes. That's great. Well, I love that you don't see the um, you don't see the gold bricks, but when you see it closed up, you can catch that light Just inside. Just some glow, right? Right, right. Like there's treasure inside. Yeah, really, really cool. Yeah, it took me a minute. It looks like some other people too. It took me a minute to like understand, to understand it the in geometry space. of yeah. what was going on, right? <clears throat> It's um well, yeah, the stand really is really cool too. The stand's beautiful. Um, yeah, excellent, Parker. Nice work. Oh, I see. And then it's a circular jump plate at the top is what the string passes through. Yeah, very cool. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so this is from Patrick. Uh, this is from Patrick Wismer. Um, he's done a. Okay, I, I I've been following these on Instagram because they're they're. Um, amazing and he's done a um, silver screen romance series and he's done a bunch of them so you need to make sure and go to look at all of them because he's only got a couple of them here but this is really funny um, this one is um, Benny Hart's sp spaceship this is the fifth ornament in my silver screen romance series Benny and his love of spaceships seem like a natural inclusion <laughs> well Absolutely. I love that it's Lego ribbon too yeah yeah <laughs> I love it. That's really, really fun. Yeah, go, definitely go check out the rest of them because they're really funny. There's some great. There's some really great ones in there. <laughs> it's so fun, and you know who doesn't love Benny because he's adorable. All right. Thank you, Patrick. Some really again, so much good photography too. Yeah, lots of good photography uh, this time. Um, well, I mean, well, I, most of the I time. I feel like Tricky yeah. Lug really takes great photographs of their pieces. So the, Our pieces. Yes. We Tricky Lug. So this is from uh, Rob Ketcherside. Uh, the first one is Frosty the Snowman. The carrot nose is held on with a pneumatic T from the back of the plate. Oh, oh very smart. interesting. Wow, yeah, that there's took a, a while to figure out. Yeah, there's because there's a hole in the back of the 
of in the middle of that plate. Yeah, and you can just and you can. Just and those love pneumatic it. tees are the size of bars, aren't they? Are they are they as small as bars? Yeah, they look. They're like a yeah. It's like a little teeny tiny yeah. T shape with little holes in the I end. I haven't done any pneumatics yet. Very clever. I think that's great. That's a, and what a great use of a part, and and in secret because you can't really see it. <laughs> <laughs> Very, oh, he says, so it goes into a double clip plate. Oh, very good. Wow, oh. super clever. Super oh, clever. Oh, I see, of course. That makes sense. Oh, wow. There's that part we were looking for, too, that ornament yeah, hanging we have part. The, there is, and I love the purple um, acorn thing. We have that in um, This uh, trans purple acorn is part of, uh, from a 2013 Galaxy Squad set. I dug through my transcolored pieces to make something like shaped glass. Well, really you got great. it. Really, it's really so nice. It's so pretty on the tree too. I want to get our tree up. Yes, um, I really and I just I like the the blue dish on the top and the and just all of it. It's just really really well, pretty. Feel, I mean, it's a it's straight up ornament, right? Well, and it looks very it it looks very elegant, right? Well, like, the facets. Very, those um, hexagonal facets in it give it, you know, extra sparkle. Yeah, I have a metallic dark gray version of that piece too, Alex. Twenty three. I have a couple of them. Um, this is you wanted a trans purple dish. I think it's great with the other color. Actually, I yeah. think it adds a little bit of variety to it. Yeah, and, and looks really. It looks really pretty. I, don't know. I think it's elegant. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dracula. This was inspired by Brickhead's Frankenstein. I think any Brickhead's face can be turned into an ornament. It's true. <laughs> I love this. this. is hilarious. And I gotta say, I love the teeth. Are fantastic. Yep. Like really very funny He's and gonna clever. Bite you. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the fact that the red goes around the outside of the incisors there really outlines them. Nicely. Right, so you can really see those yep. um, those sharp teeth. Bold. Very very cool. <laughs> A little stylish Dracula hairdo, too. I know, with a, like, shh, 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 shh. Hey, Blair Archer is here. Hey, hey Blair. Blair. We got a good laugh over your piece earlier. <laughs> it was really good. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> um, all right. So, yeah. So, there we go. Dracula. Rob Catcherside, thank you. All right. Oh yeah, Brickanista. Now, now they've let us know. Ooh. You know, now he's let us know. Brickheads will always, you know, have that ornament possibility for them. All right. So this is from the Hornburgers. Um, the Hornburgers took to studio to do some of the builds this week. Several made it to actual production, but the build uh, to give effort was a great reason to build lots of ornaments. Indeed. This is, I love this. Well, I know, you know, I love anything fractally like that. Yeah, the silhouette's great. The use of those sometimes scary vine pieces are really just pretty details in this one. Yeah, really, really, really nice. I love it. And I love the, the use of the sprouts, like the different plant pieces, I think, is, it yeah. look good all together. Well, you got it right. Fractal, right? Like a snowflake. Yep, yep. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so I forgot about this. They, uh, the Hornburgers did a series of these in studio of these with different characters. There's like a Ninjago one. There's a Simpsons one. There's a Scooby-Doo one. There was a, a, they were really hilarious. I really, really, really love this a lot. Super, super cool. <laughs> Is that a donut? Uh, that's a donut Homer has, right? Yes. Yes. All right. Oh, there's the Scooby-Doo one. <laughs> I really, I, I love that. Oh, and I remember, um, so because these were done in uh, um, studio, um, he was saying that they don't have the shaggy hair piece oh. in, um, in studio, which is why shaggy looks a little different. For some reason, they don't have him for some reason. Yeah. Um, Really, I'm I'm just so I gotta say I'm so impressed by the number and of entries and the talent um, behind. Like people just like. Well, this is so colorful and fun, and and it makes me think of you know we have lots of themed holiday ornaments, right? We and do. What what great fun themes. And I like that they're 360 as well. We have a lot of spooky holiday ornaments. You know like, what would be like, cool with this? You know those ornament hangers that spin the ornament? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, those are that's 
That's some old school stuff. That's right there. well, I got you Get your know color wheel out. I got a bunch of silver we tinsel had, tree. We had, we had a had silver tinsel while. tree with a color wheel. It was hard to set up though, and they always looked so spindly. Yep. I mean, I, they're beautiful, but you know, I had a I had a little white tree. They're also... We had a pink tree at one point. Didn't we have a pink tree? Mm, yes, at one point we did have a pink tree. <laughs> Brickman Mosaic Art says, I was shaggy one year for Halloween and everyone in my high school um, were the monsters of school. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's great. I did. I was in a play um, called The Scooby Witch Project, which was mm-hmm. like We have a VHS a tape we of do it. Have a, well, some por- portions of it were filmed, yes. And then the rest of it was live. And I played shaggy. And I had a big Scooby-Doo puppet that I made that was like, that I carried around with me. <laughs> It was really the ridiculous. Chin beard. And the chin, yeah, I had a little stick on chin beard. Well, you know what I did is I got I got a the the shaggy wig and I literally just like cut a, it was like a craft <laughs> wig. I just cut a big hunk out of the back of it and like made a beard. For it. Stuck it on your chin. It's so dumb. Talk about right see to your pants. It works. It worked. There's a picture of me somewhere wearing it looking really goofy. It's very it was a that was fun. Um okay. <clears throat> Okay, this is from Oh, Vanessa Zaccardi. And I'm gonna I'm gonna double check again that I've got this right. Because I always just want to make sure that we're crediting the right people. Because sometimes the Zaccardi's uh ones get a little sure bit confused because right. there are multiples. Um No, I don't think this is what this is hang on one second all right let me see give me a second everybody i'm just gonna catch up here um no this is in fact wgjl builds oh god see i recognize the I photo did too. style yeah too, i did right? too i was i kind of I was say just they just got mixed up here on the uh on the on the form so this is from wgjl builds um, there is there is no explanation, but it looks kind of like a cool. To, oh, I like this. Um, go back to the other one for a moment. Mm-hmm. It makes me think of of a, it. Kind of makes me think of a land speeder. It's like if there was a land speeder on Hoth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like this bubble. Like, yeah, what a this cool is bubble so cool. ornament. Very cool. Oh, and there it is on the tree, all put together. Oh, and I like the use of one of those gray silver hoses. Yeah, for the hanger. look at oh, that. Oh, I see, right. And of course, the um, the ornament inside the inside the case. Hey, Liam O Constructions is here. Hey, Liam, how's it going? Good to see you. Um, yeah, I love that. So, so what we're seeing here then is the is the ornament or you know yeah. the vehicle, and then the bubble, and then it all together. That's the, so the cool. Vehicle inside the bubble. It's really really. I like really that clever. hose. I do too. I'm getting ideas. I wanted to do classic space. Well, I I did do sort of my version of classic space, um, <laughs> but I'm getting all kinds of other ideas from all of you. Oh, so this is from Wilfred. This is Duplo. Um, this is Duplo. Um, uh, Wilfred. It doesn't. There's no explanation, but um, I think we know that this is uh, Duplo, Duplo ornament. I love it. Are we looking at like? A sort of surreal Dr. Seuss esque Santa's workshop. Yeah, because it looks like those are sort of like revolving doors in the front. Yeah, um, it's really, I it's really love good. Duplo. <laughs> Hood one says that's a big ornament. It is. It's practically like <laughs> the whole tree. I love it. I'm glad some. I'm so glad somebody used Duplo. That's so awesome. Well, you, oh, you just get... I love this, and I love. I gotta say, so you've used it twice now. I love that um, awning piece. Yeah, the blue and white stripe awning piece. This is so fun, and what a what a wonderfully colorful piece. I well, just, this, I love it. This one makes me think of it's a small world. Yeah, you know, it was very just... Mary Blair. Yeah. It has a very Mary Blair quality to it. Which, if you don't know who Mary Blair is, um, Ooh, you need wow. to you need to look her up. And um, one of the most amazing designers that I've ever come across. Is yeah, she Mary was Blair. an incredible uh, artist for Disney back in the day, and did um, a ton of stuff, including Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan. Um, she worked on a bunch of stuff. But wow, really, um, this is fun. It's so gorgeous, and it's got my favorite Duplo piece, the two by two trans blue block right up there yes. at the top. <laughs> it looks like I it have might a little have stack of those by my desk. 
Very oh, nice. yeah. With Dr. Seuss Easter Island elf. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh, I see. So there's a whole face. I see. You know, it's so funny. Oh, yeah, of It's course. so funny because um, we've talked about this before, but so because we're so used to faces, like human beings are so used to seeing faces, that we see faces in everything, even when a face doesn't exist well, in that place. it's a survival mechanism, right? You right. You gotta know when the lion's gonna... Peek so, out and jump on you. So I gotta say, like, I never... Whenever I see faces in something, like, during uh, during builds and stuff, I kind of turn that part of my brain off because I feel like, okay, probably the person doesn't mean <laughs> you there edit to be a it, face. You edit it so out. I kind of edit myself. But in fact, this is a face. So thank you for letting <laughs> me know. There we go. Yeah, it's just, I, um... It's, it's interesting how your brain, like, does stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I love it. The wonders of bilateral symmetry. Oh, more, even this is fantastic. Still more fun. Wow, I love... Now, this is something that you do not see in Duplo, is sideways building. Well, it's true, because there's not... I don't... Because I don't gravity. know of a lot of snot pieces in Duplo, and the, and the clutch power isn't all that strong. Um, really, really cool. Wow, I wonder, did this fall apart a lot when you were making it? It's it's really super cool. Yeah, it's really it's really beautiful. Oh, and look, the original like the Duplo figure down there too. Yeah, but it looks like there's a friends a friends figure, and uh, and of course our Santa minifig. Oh, oh, oh those oh. are finger puppets. That's right. Those are like the the finger puppets. I love it. Really nice, Wilfred. Very nice. What fun! So it's colorful. Fun. I'm always so happy. There's always so much fun stuff to see. Okay, I want to make sure we get those Acardis in the right order. Okay, this one is going to be... <laughs> this is from Lana Zacardi. Um, photo one is a baby wreath. <laughs> Very nice. I love it. That's so cute. And, of course, we have our, our baby. Super I, sewer baby. Yes, and I love the, the colorful flowers around the outside. Really, 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 really fun. <laughs> and that, that, that perfect for keychains and ornaments piece, too, the two-by-two two with the round part. Well, and we've got sideways and upwards building here. So you that's actually, you know, looks There's some sophisticated simple, but techniques, There's right? some sophisticated techniques going there. That means that they would have had to build outwards with snot pieces that were facing up to then attach the, you know, these top Yeah, and the matching you. of the curves is all cool. This is, there's a lot going on there. Yeah, really, 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 really cool. Wow. Very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the nativity scene. <laughs> the little nativity and the little baby and the little star. I love it. Um, and it expresses... It's in a manger. It, it, exp it is. It's swaddling. Um... It is, and I think I believe that's Baby Harry Potter. If I'm not is mistaken, it? I think it is. Um, I really, I and and it's actually automatically recognizable, right? It's yep. kind of like a, it's a good little, it's a, a and the cute blue, little the blue sky. Yeah, very cute. All right, this Ooh, this is modern art. Yes, this is from Rob Zaccardi. This one is a, a Christmas tree. I love it. That's it is great. very it is very like modern art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could see this um you could see this on Christmas cards, right? Um yes, this would be like a, a 1960s Christmas when, card. And it would have a little glitter. And it would it have too. it would have a little glitter in it as well. <laughs> it really it's really really great. We have actually my mom um used to love to decorate for Christmas and um she took Christmas cards with pinking shears and cut out um, shapes and hung them so it's every true. year we hang vintage Christmas cards um, up on the wall. We had one. And there's like I found one the other day for some reason. Yeah, there's lots around. of glitter in them. Maybe I'll share some of those with you when we get closer to the holidays. Yeah, it's really um, it's this is great. Nice work. Uh, really cool, Rob. Oh, I lo oh. <laughs> I know what this is. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> a this Christmas is, story. Yes, this is so clever. This is so clever. 
And really, really, <laughs> yes, everybody's saying fragile. <laughs> <laughs> Must be Italian. It's a major award. <laughs> <laughs> this is so great the leg lamp um from from christmas story that is <laughs> it's really really good but i love it too that the that the striped stockings kind of give it a little bit of a w wicked witch of the west feeling <laughs> at the same time <laughs> this is really this is super fun super clever and i now i want to make one of these because this is this is so i'll, so I'll good. be careful not to break it Please, you <laughs> used all the glue on purpose. <laughs> That's one of my favorite lines in the whole movie. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> Rob Catcher side with his emoji. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. This is so fun. So, so super fun. Osarg is going to make one of these, too. Oh Yay, wow! Backwards building. Now this, I gotta say, this is um, you know, this is the snowman. I gotta say, this is something that I, I never use the back of Lego. Like for whatever reason, like I don't, you know, I like that's just not something you hide, right? Well, I don't know. I guess maybe I and I'm, but I'm so impressed by how well it works here. Yeah, yeah, it adds this great texture. I love the the reversed uh, one by one square plates. Well, I was just gonna say that's what I to me that's what makes it interesting, or one of the things that makes it interesting because if you if that was flipped around the other way, yeah, it would just be a square with a stud in the middle of it, and I think it would look less like a snowflake where. For whatever yeah. reason, this particular, like from this particular angle, it looks like a snowflake. Yeah, you get this fun geometry out of it. Yeah, really. Um, I think it, it plays with shadow a lot more, or in a different way than studs would. And I also really love the no studs um, showing groundwork. Well, it makes the texture of the backside of the plate really deliberate. Well, actually, if you think about it, there are no studs showing. You're right. At all. Uh, on the shoulder. <laughs> there's tubes. Oh, on the shoulder there is. You're right. You're right. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, what fun. But really great. Really fun. All right. Wow, so much fun. Yeah, I think people are going to have fun with the new challenge, too. This makes me think people yes. are going to have fun with the new one. Oh, I have to look up the... Oh, I have to look up something about that before we announce it. So we'll have to... Okay. We'll have to do a... Press the pause button on okay. that for a second. Who is this? Um, this is Vanessa Zaccardi. And this is an angel. That's oh, the little with halo. The halo. <laughs> halo and a star. That's so cute. Um, I uh, well, here I'm gonna let you talk about that for a second while I look this up real quick. All right. Well, I love that it's I love that it's asymmetrical and things get fun when you add eyes immediately. Um, yeah. But the off center, I think, rather than having it centered, the the off center halo is really fun in it and it's 3D. And I could just see this with a group of a whole bunch more Lego ornaments. We need to. I think we need more Lego ornaments on our tree this year. Uh, yes, I agree. I absolutely agree. Sorry, I am looking up this one thing. I'm hoping that it's going to tell me. And if not, once we announce what it is, maybe somebody can help me find this information. Okay. Because I know it's out there. The only problem is, like we were in, like I said, we were like in a rush to get through, um, to get started today. So I'm, I'm looking at Wikipedia, which I think might have the answer. Um, but I'm not exactly sure. I'd love here. to see all of these ornaments. Um, all of uh, um, this is uh, all the Zaccardi's ornaments. Yes, together, yes. right? Are they going on your tree? Are you gonna? Do you? Put I up hope a tree? so. I hope so. And this is Santa, of course. Really, uh, well, really, really Santa cute. Well, and Santa and the angel go together right. so well. Right. Well, they've right? got with the their, perfect style, right? Well, with their white body and their um, and their Lego tan um, heads there. Yeah. And I love that Santa's hat is off to the side. It's so fun. Oh, they are on the tree. Very good. Yay. Very good. All right, so I can't find the information right off the bat. As we're talking about it, I'm hoping that you can help us figure, you'll, that somebody will be able to find it. I just wasn't able to do it in my limited capacity search there for a second. Well, and um, and fun fun fact, we have a website where there will be um, yes. information <laughs> once we get it together. <laughs> Very nice. 
Um, really, really nice. Well, thanks to everyone who participated. I hope you had, um, wow, I didn't think that was such a hard word. Participated. Per -per -per um, uh, uh, I hope you had fun making them. Um, we built as well. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to make more. I want to make some, I, I thought I had to do this big thing, like a thing. Um, well, were we going to show ours? Yes. Speaking of big things? And now I want to do some small, simple ones too. So um, here, I'll go first. Okay. Um, I did a classic space sort of snowflake. It's there. so cool. I love this. And it kind of does have a presentation side because I had two of these um, upside down um, yellow bumper or white bumpers and I just had a gray one in the back. But so there's my, it's kind of the Lunar Lander, Apollo Lunar Lander, kind of the re-entry vehicle with all the pontoons around it and kind of a snowflake. <laughs> so it's, there's my classic space mashup. I love it. It's so good. It's really, really fun. And it Thanks. Looks, and, it, and it also, it looks like it could just be a, a spaceship, like a fantasy yeah, spaceship. Yeah, well, it got more spaceshipy as I went on. Like I put these jets underneath it. There's right side up building, upside down. Okay, so I did. I, I'm gonna. I'll show these in order of interest. So I. Oh, I thanks, did, Moto. Oh no, one of my pieces fell off. I played yeah. like some other people did. I played with some. I gotta. I gotta fix it though. Uh oh. I played Hazards. with this sort of like fractal. Um, this fractal thing. Now this one is just. Oh my goodness, it's just completely falling apart. Well, I wanted to say about this one, too. I didn't have any idea what the form would be when I started it. I just went into our container called Spaceship Parts and started pulling <laughs> out parts. And those are the parts I ended up with. And then I made it into a thing. So I, I was... Exp uh, oh, man. It's just falling apart. That's okay. It's a lesson in, a lesson in stability. <laughs> <laughs> it's got an opportunity. Indeed. An opportunity for there revised building. Uh, so I was just playing with the different shades of green and trying to get like darker on the outside and lighter on the inside. Sort of like wreath, snowflake, weird fractal business, right? This was a, you know, this was more of an experiment. You know what would help this to be more stable is some of those sprouts from the back. Yes. Right through there. So I don't think you've completely finished that idea, but it's a good proof of concept. So this one, I was telling you, Ms. Slobricta and I had a similar feeling, but this was my sort of snowflake. And yes, I know it's got more than the requ than the required six uh, handles. You're making your own physics. But I, yeah, exactly. But I I was I I had a lot of fun using the 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 trans blue one by one tiles um, as diamonds. It's a little bright. And then if you if you look in here, what this is, this is a trans blue dot piece like this, but with a flat opalescent tile over top of it. So it gets this kind of frosty quality. Yeah, it's real frosty looking, so I love it. It's very dimensional, like you can see the things stick up. But Yeah, we're a little bright with our front light here. I would love to see this against a lit background. Yeah, so I'll you darken see this the, so oh, you can see that. it a little bit better. All right? Yeah. There you go. Then, <laughs> well, and you know the flat the flat tiles as it moves, the flat tiles give um, extra sparkle there. They light up. Now I don't know what you're actually going to be able to see of this because it is a little, a little difficult. But I well, made why don't we a, give it a dark background, a micro. Oh yeah, a dark Here, background. Let me, let me do a dark background. I made a micro crystal castle inside of a little tube here, almost like a snow globe. Right. Here, I'm. I'm just... <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. Too much about us. Mm -mm. Here we go. Here, I'm sorry. It's a Peggy Lee album, but I think that might be a little distracting. But here, there. there I you just go. wanted you some see, darkness. All right. You can kind of see I used clear, um, clear bubbles. And here, I'm going to do this. Yeah, you um, can even take it out to show the castle. It's a in a baby bottle snow globe. It kind of is. Um, but let me show you here. I will pop this open. Um, this approve is uh, is approved. This build is approved by Miss Peggy Lee. It's true. Um, and uh, let me see. I'm gonna. T I'm just gonna take the the thing off so you can kind of see the castle a little bit better. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but oh, there. Look when you when you tilt it down. And I don't know if you can tell, but mm, sorry. I used, come on, just don't be a jerk. 
Um, I Should we used... use the down cam? Uh, we could. Here, let's try that. Let's try the down cam. It's worth it. Top cam. Oh, yeah, there we go. A little bit better. So you can see I actually used a worm gear enclosure as the front gates of the palace of the little castle, right? And, and I added these little sort of pink dots as uh, just something to keep it from all being too clear. And then there's a taller pointy tower behind the, the dome. There yeah, there's well. actually yeah, there's actually smaller towers in the back. I think if this had a little teeny light in the base of it, it would look amazing. I mean, it, w it would light it up in a beautiful way. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I think, um, let me see. I'm going to see if maybe I can get it closer. Yeah, I wonder if I can do this. And get it to, oh, that's us. Uh-huh. No, I no. don't know that that's going to work. No, it's not. The lit background helps, but not lighting through. It's Here hard. we go. It's hard for camera, right? So anyway, yeah, it's not, it's not doing the best job at focusing. It's kind well, of we'll being take a jerk. Photos of, we're going to take photos of these and post them for the Build to Give challenge. There we go. Right? Look, yeah. Ta-da! Sorry. Now you can really see the details. Just take a little fussing. Right? Castle in a bottle. <laughs> That's true. Think about little castles. Yeah. So, I do. I love little. I love little castles. So there you go. Castle in the bottle is the new ship in the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> totally. And then I just built, you know, I have these little corner pieces and built them around. Well, this was a case, too, where initially you had wanted to build these with those domes that we have, or the globes that we have. Yes. Right? And you didn't, and you came up with a solution that worked. Yeah, sorry it took so long to show that. That was... That's okay. It took a long time to build it. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, it took a little while to figure out the construction. I really, we had like these plastic round baubles that I wanted to build in and I couldn't find them. So yeah, I just ended up doing that. So I there we are. Um, but it was a fun little, fun little, it does kind of look like a baby bottle though. Will you make us brighter again? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Not much left to see of us today, but that's yes, all right. I will, put it, I will put it back up there. There we go. Look how cheerful it is. The sun just came out. Ah, there we go. Um, so we have a new challenge too, don't we? We do have a new challenge. Okay. So, and this is where I may need some help from from to figure out um, a bit of detail here. And so, it'll take some of the same skills that we just used in the last challenge. Yes. So you know, it's been the 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 Lego Advent calendars are really popular. They're like a really big thing, and we didn't necessarily want to do. Um, Advent, um, because just because we want well, to we keep want, it, we, we want, want to be inclusive. It, we want to be inclusive and keep it around for everybody. So we're going to call it a countdown calendar challenge. So what the idea is is that you will come up with a theme idea for a countdown calendar, and you are to create three models that would be included in that. Little teeny the little models. teeny models. Now there is actually a piece count that they have to use in Lego Advent calendars for each model has to be an express number of pieces. And I'm sorry that I did not look that up and what that number is, but your three little builds will be limited to that number of pieces. So and if anybody knows what that number of pieces is and can um, can tell us in the chat, that would be awesome. So, yes, yeah, so the next challenge is the Countdown Calendar Challenge. Come up with a theme and three small micro builds. Oh, and Remy Baker says this is about what I thought there is 15 to 20. Oh, 15 to 20. Oh, this is also a current activity on Lego Ideas, is it? I had no idea. Oh, <laughs> it's just cool. like I just thought it would be fun. Um, uh, so, yeah, so the, the uh, I think, like, 15 to 20 pieces. That sounds about right. Yeah, 15 to 20 pieces. Joel Marbella asks, does this piece count include the extras you almost always find? Uh, no. So, okay, let's let us let's just say that each piece has a, um, should we just say 20 pieces? And 20 just make pieces. It a piece? Yeah, and it'll be a little harder, right? Because we did a 25-piece challenge before. See what you can do with 20 pieces. And... 
and for me, these calendars are usually like this fun little like toy idea, right? There's some fun involved. Yes, yes. But whatever your theme is, if it's a if it's a spooky, terrifying countdown calendar, that's cool. And remember, mini figures count as separate pieces. So your leg assembly, your torso assembly, your head, and your your hair piece. That's four out of your pieces. Yep. Okay. Straight up, twenty pieces. Yeah. So, but you um. You, yeah, I think 15 or 20. I'm going to say 20 just to be, like, just to give you some extra playroom. Yep. Okay? So does that make sense to everybody? So, countdown calendar challenge. Come up with a theme, and then you have to make three small models that go with the theme with a max count of 20 pieces. It can be less than 20 pieces, yeah. but your max count is 20. And this can be included in your theming or not, but usually these countdown calendars are the thing where you get one at a time. So you're not gonna get them all three together. So if you wanna work that into your narrative, that's cool, or they don't need to be related. Yes, that's 20 pieces max for each of your three models. So it's yep. three micro builds. Think of it as three tiny micro builds. And if you need inspiration, you can look at the ca the Lego calendars for that. Um, <clears throat> and I will post a more... Um, people are saying 20 is generous. Well, we believe in being that's generous. That's awesome. Um, yeah, and you don't have to if you can do it in six. Name that brick. Yeah, I was going to say, like, if you want to challenge yourself um, for, uh, you know... Uh, let's see, extra points if you build a calendar window or door box. I well, mean, see, sure, if yeah, you want to do that. I was thinking that earlier. We don't want to scare people away with that, but if you want to make a, a box for these to come out of, that's cool. Right. Um, okay. Yes, let's see. Yeah, no, no, no. It's not 20 for the whole thing. You have no. 20 for each little micro build. 20 for each And that's one. all. That is, I mean, that is quite a few for a... For a Especially if you build it in Duplo. And if you want to build more than <laughs> you, I, and I said three because you know we allow three photos for everyone. If you want to build more than three, do us a favor and just maybe combine, you know, a few into a single picture so that we can kind of see, you know, we can kind of see them together. You can send in three separate photos for your three. If you go over three, please make a sort of a yeah. little collage photo for them so that we can put it down. That sounds like so, fun, right? Yeah, yeah. The um, that thing, I think that sounds like a little be fun. fun Lego workshop. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm gonna hang this one on the tree. You should hang on it a on lower a tree. branch. It's kind of big. <laughs> 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 um, so yeah, there you go. That's your uh, that's the new challenge. And uh, speaking of challenges, uh, we are um, if you weren't here at the beginning of the show, we are currently uh. Fielding ideas for upcoming build challenges. There is a uh, there is a form. Uh, yes, you're sorry, Yano. <laughs> yes, it does not have to be holiday themed at all. It's just it's a countdown calendar. It's a countdown to whatever it is that you that you would want it to be. Right? Mini fig countdown to your birthday. Countdown to the grocery store. Countdown to lift off. Countdown to it's New Year's. To Anything. Yeah. Countdown um, to next Halloween. <laughs> what do you think Chick you tail go. wagging is an issue in our house because his his dog TV window, like where he looks out the window at everything going by, is right by where the tree is. <laughs> Star Trek, that's a great theme. So yeah, basically it's a pick your own theme and make three micro builds challenge if you really yep. wanna if it's too confusing. But um because that is a lot. It's a lot to take in. But I think it's gonna be a fun challenge. There's I'm a lot to, to work see with what people there. will will uh come will come in. Um, let's see, what was... Oh, Brickworm says, whoa, I missed it all, didn't I? Um, what? Huh? Bri Brickworm, yeah. what? Oh, we should huh? fill in Brickworm, we can either do, the, uh, let's do the quick through, the quick through. We're making a countdown calendar, like an advent calendar. In the style of Lego advent calendars, you're going to pick a theme and you're going to make three micro builds that would go with that theme, and each little micro build has to have 20 pieces or less. So there you go. I think that makes sense. That'll be fun. So keep an eye out. It'll we'll have that um, on the calendar. I'll have the article up on the on the website. And I'm really I'm trying to be I'm trying to be much better about getting the the forms and articles up on the on the website sooner. Um, I'm uh, making an effort to sort of like make things all sort of much easier to deal with. If, uh, for me and for everybody else. Yay. So, um, 
Anywho, uh, I think. What am I going? What am I doing here? What are we? Hey, going? you know, a Fabuland figure is only one piece. Mm, not really. Really? It's can you three take pieces. it apart? Can you take it apart? Are well, you I supposed can, well, to? Well, your head can, the head can come off. If you try really you hard. You couldn't take the legs off though. So I guess right. really a Fabuland figure only counts as two pieces. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I uh, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, so I w what I was saying was uh, we are taking your ideas for challenges. I put a oh, form yeah. up on the website. I'm hopefully a uh, uh, minifig chick. If you could post the link up to that, that would be great. Um, and you, uh, we're taking ideas, and we will give you a credit, a shout out on the show, <laughs> if we use your idea for a build challenge. So we'd love to see uh, what your ideas are for that. Um, oh, and Fabufan MKE just gave us a really helpful tip. What's that? that? If you want to take off the Fabulan figure's legs, all you need is a hammer and a nail. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Hey, Bob Board is here. Hey, Yay, Bob. How's it going, Dad? Um, we are, uh, let's see. We just see. finished our, our holiday ornament challenge, and yes. um, we're yes. making little toys and models. Uh, and don't forget, everybody, uh, you're, there is now an event calendar on the website you can check out, uh, which I just said that. Oh, my goodness. I'm really, like, I'm cycling now. And um, <laughs> you, can go, uh, you can go there and check out all the things you need, including Tricky Lug meetings, our show schedule, uh, upcoming challenges, when your photos are due for challenges, um, all that kind of fun stuff will be uh, will be up there. Um, oh, uh, Yano says Fabuland figures arms do come off and interchangeable with regular minifig arms. Oh, very good. But I've that, been afraid. I've always been afraid I would break them. Yeah, I'm, I'm like all delicate about them. Yep. Um, so yeah, so there's that. So. If you would like to find us on the interwebs, not that you don't know how to find us on the interwebs, but in case that you don't, you can uh, hit us up at Instagram at Tricky Bricks. We're there. Um, if you have any questions, comments, whatever, Flynn at TrickyBricks.com. Uh, or if you want to send us something mm -hmm. through the snail mail, that's going to be Flynn and Richard, P.O. Box 11517, Oakland, California, 94611. Um, so... And, oh, and eventually, it'll eventually get it'll get there. So don't, you know, so don't, uh, 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 don't send a souffle. <laughs> don't send cookies. Right. Um, anyway, the, um, uh, what was I going to say beyond that? Oh, yes. So next week coming up, we're going to be doing some holiday giveaways, as you saw uh, before. Oh, yeah. Um, Alex, Alexander23 sent us some amazingly fun little sets uh, to give away. We also went to the Lego store about a month or so ago, uh, met up with Cowboy Cornado, and we got to see It was our first chick. time back at a Lego store. It was really fun, but we picked up a bunch of, uh, of little things to give away for prizes and stuff, and we thought that... Um, it would be fun to do some little holiday giveaways um, starting next week. So mm -hmm. um, you can look for that. So stay tuned. Yes, stay tuned. Um, same brick time, same brick channel. Uh, I'm so glad we never adopted that as a thing. I know, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Things just burble up in the stream of consciousness, and, and now they're being beamed out into space for aliens to find thousands of years from now. Everything yes. we say is part of our legacy to the human race. <laughs> <laughs> so I better say some clever stuff. You better. I'm going to work on that in the new year. <laughs> <laughs> well, gosh, everybody, um, thank you so much for joining us today. We're like back on our, our first week back on the job here. Yep. Um, so we will be... Uh, we will be here on Sunday with yep. our regulars, Holly, Moto, and Minifig Chick, uh, Chat and Lego. We're gonna, I'm sure we'll come up with something interesting to talk about uh, this week. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us in the Tricky Bricks Clubhouse. Well, I gotta say, I, I am, I, I was just so thrilled to see everybody's um, uh, uh, submissions this week. And the fact that we are helping, uh, helping support 
Lego's program to get Lego in the hands of of, uh, of less fortunate kids is um, really Just really exciting. Imagine how happy those kids are going to be. Yeah, I'm, and so you know, I, I think we did a great job, everybody. So Yay. make sure you go on Instagram, look up the build to give hashtag, look up the tricky lug and the tricky bricks hashtags, um, and see all the amazing stuff that people have made. Um, there is a Tricky Lug meeting tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time on Zoom. If you want to know about that or you want to get involved, you can hit up Minifig Chick, Tricky, uh, tricky Lug at gmail.com. And she can get you an invitation to that. Um, we also have, there's a Discord server that you can access, and you'll need to contact Shane for that. Um, I know he's around. And we're going to try and, actually, we're going to try and streamline being able to join the Discord a little bit more so that Shane's not having to, like, deal with a ton of emails. Yep. Um, so, yeah. So, thanks, everybody, for joining us. We will be back on Sunday uh, at 10 a.m. Oh, and, and Minifig Chick points out that um, uh, the invites will be sent later today. Oh, very for good. For the Zoom meeting. Very good. Um, all right, and thank you so much for joining us. And until next time, be sure to stay safe, stay healthy, Wash your hands, wear your mask, get your flu shot, and we will see you next time. Bye, Bye. everyone. Bye, Dad. Happy building, everyone.